Peter, you had suggested that you think uh, we should keep the CBC but reform it. Could you tell us maybe a couple things that you think need to be done to maybe improve how it operates? Yeah, the first thing that has to happen is it needs to become a pure play public broadcaster, not carrying any advertising and not designing its content to appeal to audiences that assist advertisers like focusing on the GTA and bigger Montreal and that sort of stuff. It should also, its its news content should be available to other other news producers across the country. That would be particularly helpful to, to the smaller centers and small entities that they would have access to this. This was done when the CBC first got into the news business in 19, for many years in 1941, its news reports were available to all other radio broadcasters in terms of that. So it, it would do that, um, that it's a public entity. There's no reason why it, the, the public resource shouldn't be shared and it needs to be focused. Uh, the taking away the $400 million worth of advertising revenue would certainly, you know, nothing, uh, you know, nothing focuses the mind like hanging, as they say, but they, you know, they would save money on not having a sales department, um, but also just narrow it down. So, you know, one, one radio station instead of two, two, one TV station in each language and one all news network. And I think they would be in better shape to regain the public trust they need to have because they have been terribly managed, I'm afraid to say, in recent years and have lost what I always thought would always save them um, from, you know, the defund the CBC movement was that the fact that people essentially liked them, but actually people don't anymore. Um, and so that's can, pretty can much all self-inflicted. Can I just sure. clarify a, a point with you, Peter? When you talk about sharing the content, does that mean that as a, a consumer of news, that if I go to, say, the Calgary Herald or the Toronto Star or something like that, that I might see an article that was written by the CBC and the CBC has been forced to basically share it with other media? Is that what you're suggesting? Yeah, I mean, it's not that different than, I mean, Canadian press has been a, and 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 broadcast news has been a, you know, a news sharing network that, that people mm -hmm. jointly share their products. The Calgary Herald feeds in its news. And so somebody in Toronto can pick it up and they don't have to have a reporter in Toronto and that sort of stuff. So it would be basically the same as that. It's a, you know, it's okay. a, it's a, it's, it's, it's content produced with public money and it should be publicly available without, you know, basically domestically, right? So it would be a, a, a sort of a commons license it distributed under a commons license domestically. Sure. Um, there wouldn't be any copyright protection. And, and so the next thing I want to talk about, because I think it's interesting, you discuss it in your report, this, this suggestion that we hear that the social media giants organizations like Facebook and uh, even Google and that are, we hear that they're stealing content from, from news outlets. Could you tell us a little bit about what's happening? Is that true? And what you think should be done to address the, the situation if, if you see a problem there? Well, if it was true that somebody was stealing something, somebody should have called the police years ago. Um, <laughs> that's a hyperbolic way that, uh, that uh, publishers and others have used to make their point. Um, uh, there is no theft of anything going on. Uh, everything that's posted onto Facebook by the publishers, they post themselves or individuals like me post a story on my Facebook page saying, hey, everybody, look at me. I'm in this story, um, that, that sort of thing, or I'm interested in this and that sort of stuff. So it's all you, you, nobody. Facebook doesn't go out and grab stuff and put it and put it put it on its its site in that fashion. Google's different because Google sort of scrapes the internet for information and it sort of goes places and finds things. So you might be able to make a case there. But the real value of what both of them get isn't the news. It's the it's the data they collect from the news as readers. All the all the Facebook is for a for a news platform is a delivery tool. Um, and asking Facebook mm -hmm. Uh, to pay publishers for delivering their product to their audience is like asking the you know newspaper carrier to pay the newspaper for going door to door with the paper. It's it's absurd. And, and so, in your paper, do you talk about or, or what do you recommend doing in this? In twenty seconds, could you tell us what you think needs to be done? 
Well, in, in terms of that, what we suggest is 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 that there be a, a, a fund for journalism, right? That that big tech companies, big tech platforms contribute to as a levy on their advertising revenues that they collect in Canada, because I don't really think it's appropriate for large foreign companies just to come into Canada, take all the revenue out of it and not make a contribution back. So this won't save the entire media industry, but it would be an assist. 